For the city council members, economic development plays a major role in regards to wanting to increase the level of industry within the community. The retail gap analysis presentation had many key components, which were revelations to council, including the size of the draw area. I don't think I truly had a perspective of, of how big of a draw we were and from how big of an area and really what that looked like in terms of our percentage of the market share of retail in this area. So kind of getting those numbers on paper and seeing the data to back it up and kind of having that uh, information to support the anecdotal I think was really interesting and really shows how much potential we have and how much opportunity we have to potentially grow that market share of the retail um, if we can take the right steps. While councillors thought the information brought forward was great, there were still many questions regarding how the conclusions within the retail gap analysis were made. For us here, we know that we have a trading area that is much larger than just our, our population of Lloydminster. We, our businesses here cater to those far outside our borders. And um, I was curious how they got to that point and whether it was simply through the cell phone data or if it was just uh, based on a formula that uh, uses distance as an example, if it's just a maximum two-hour drive to Lloydminster. And, and uh, it sounds like it was a mix of both. While the study did touch on many subjects, there was still some information that wasn't accounted for, which a suggestion was made that tourism could be one of the possibilities for the unaccounted information. This brought forward many questions from Council on what exactly this looks like. In my mind, I guess I was looking at unpacking that if we could, and so what would that be? What would tourism look like, and what are the pieces that are in there? We obviously have, you know, if you look at it, the casino it might be part of tourism, and we have the museum and other facilities in there, so it would be really good to kind of drill down and look at what those pieces are, and how do we maximize that? How do we, how do we advertise it, and how do we put it up front so that uh, not only do we have the $45 million, if you like, but we can build on it in some way? And so I was just trying to get a, a feel for what that might look like. The retail gap analysis will be brought forward again in a future meeting. Sarah Baker, Primetime Local News.